What's going on guys? Today we have the Verizon Stream TV box. Alright, so once again, this video is not sponsored by anybody, not by Verizon. We're not going to get into their packages or their TV and all that bullshit. We're not going to deal with any of that stuff. Um, again, not promoting them in any way, shape, or form. Just showcasing a product that I received from them. Um, I technically pay for this with my own money, but they gave it free when you signed up for the uh, internet, uh, the gigabyte speed internet and everything. So they give you the Streambox TV so that you can hook it up to your TV and download apps on it and watch all kinds of shit on there. You could do YouTube TV and you know Hulu, Disney Plus, all that bullshit. And it's 4K. So let's open this thing up. Show you guys what comes in it, and uh, let's get this started. All right, we're going to open this up with the Victor Knox. Uh, this is the camper. Let's set that to the side. One of the sharpest knives I own, by the way. Guys, head over to the main channel and check that one out. Nothing crazy to expect in this box. You got the little manual, some bullshit. Basically, it tells you how to hook it up, HDMI wire to the TV, and power. So... Even I should be able to figure this one out, right? Here's the box itself. Super lightweight. I mean, this thing's absolutely retarded. Got um, the sticker on the back. All the information. Hopefully, we can hook this up with that QR code. Here's the back. So, we got an Ethernet port, the HDMI, and your power. Here's the remote for it. Now, this is using your Google uh, Voice Assistant. So, it's a Google Voice Assistant remote. As you can see, you got all your buttons, power, volume, the input for your TV. You got a smart button, that colorful fucking shit, back, play, all that bullshit. So here we go. Looks like we got the uh, batteries installed in it as well. So I'll pull out the little tab and our remote is ready to go. HDMI wire, you're definitely going to need that. And the power wire right here. So... Very easy, very simple, two wires. Um, you guys, it does hook up wirelessly. Um, I will eventually be running this upstairs uh, to my other TV, and I'm going to run some, probably some Cat8 wires throughout the house, which I haven't got around to doing yet. Um, I haven't had any issues really since installing the new router. If you guys missed that video, head over to the main page, check that out. It's the new Verizon Wi-Fi 6 router. I hooked that up. I haven't had any issues at all with that as far as, you know, the Ethernet is concerned. And, you know, we're going to try and hook this up just wirelessly first. And then if I feel the need to, I'll run a hard wire up to it. But so far, so good with it. And I have a ton of smart home products that run on the Internet, uh, run on, you know, the wireless servers and stuff like that. So I haven't had any issues yet, knock on wood. Um, and I literally overdrive my router 24 7 from you know lighting to i mean you name it it's it's unbelievable so all right so let's install this box and uh we'll show you guys how to do that like i said it's only two wires very simple and we'll go through the menus and whatnot for that so all right so here is the um setup so we'll set up the remote first so this is just hooking up the remote to the actual box as you can see, now it works. We're gonna hook up our Wi-Fi. So type in the Wi-Fi passwords and get connected. I really tell you, I really enjoy the remote and how it feels and just the general scrolling through the menu so far. Um, it has like a quick feature, so you press and hold and it moves faster and stuff like that. A lot of remotes with this smart stuff doesn't really do that. So it's nice to have that option. It's taking a little longer than expected to get this sorted, but now we're installing the update and we should be ready to go after this. Watch your purchases on the go with the stream. All right, fuck you. Alright, so here is the main page, the home screen. So, this is my first time using it with you guys. 
So here is the app screen. We got home. Let's check this out. These are all the apps that we just downloaded from the main page. Now I have uh, Prime Video, so I'll set that up. I also have Netflix. I'll set that up later down the road. Um, eventually, we might get into some of the other apps and YouTube TV and all those random things. This is a YouTube app. It's recommending you to go into and purchase that. So let's just go to search. I'm just going to type in the best channel on YouTube to watch. Oh, look at this. See all the videos here. Yeah, let's click into the Swiss Army knife that we just used. What's going on, guys? Today I have Swiss Army knife. Let's see if we can adjust the quality. It says it's in 1080p. Alright guys, so we're down low with the... It definitely doesn't uh, look like 1080p. It's very... Grainy footage. Like I said, you got your Netflix, all that bullshit. Has all your save features. So here's some new movie releases. So it's basically like all the other apps you have, you know, all the shit they want you to pay for and then... Um, you know, so all these stream boxes, they're all basically the same as far as, you know, the setup and all that stuff, all your channels, if you want to pay for all these subscriptions, it's kind of pointless if you're going to buy all this shit, you know, for cutting the cord purposes and download other apps and whatnot. So you go to search, you can type in other apps, you have all this bullshit here and that's it. So let's take it back up top and continue to talk about this. All right guys, so as you can see, very easy to hook up all these um, stream boxes now and all this other good stuff. So hopefully this helped you set it up, give you a little idea of what you're getting when uh, you're getting the service and the stream box and all that stuff. Yeah, I didn't go through every single app and input all my information and all that stuff. And But basically, if you've you ever used any of these other apps, you're just getting it all onto one box now. So if you're going to get like a Firebox or a Fire Stick or an Android, any box or the Roku or any of that shit. It's basically all in line with the same stuff. Again, just messing with it uh, really quick. You guys seen going to the uh, my YouTube channel and checking it out. The quality, it said it was shooting in 1080p or broadcasting in 1080p. It definitely wasn't. So I'm not too happy about that. I definitely got to look into that. Um, maybe hardwiring it directly will help that. I don't know, but... Going to need a little bit more playing around with that to figure that all out. The other movies and other apps and stuff like that seem to be working better than just the YouTube, which is the only thing I tested on camera. But the regular movies and the Prime Video and all that stuff seem to be working significantly better than just the YouTube app. So uh, we're not going to do like any kind of update video on this at all. It doesn't really need to be. Yeah, like I said, I just want to show you guys the basic setup of this. Uh, turning it onto the TV, showing you guys how to get it all set up for anyone that doesn't know how to already do that and what to expect when you purchase it. So it's nice that they give you the, you know, obviously you need the power wire and an HDMI with it so that you could just take it out of the box, get it set up, and you're ready to go. Obviously slightly different than a fire stick where you're just plugging it in directly to your, to your TV. I like this in particular because you can hook this up to a non-smart TV and get it to work. You could also hook it up to your computer, uh, just a regular monitor, anything that takes HDMI. So don't worry about it if you have a super old TV or anything like that, or if the fact that it's not even smart doesn't make a difference. I mean, at this point, I would say majority of people do have smart TVs, but if you don't, you still can use this box, which is nice. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I hope this helped. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Get subscribed. We got new videos coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. Take care.